Hello Ham Radio nerds and YouTubers and Elecraft fans. Uh, what I have for you today is a uh, the proverbial unboxing of an Elecraft K4. So the Elecraft K4 has been shipping for a while now and mine just arrived actually about 30 minutes ago. And um, first thing some of the guys will be dying about is when did I order mine? I ordered mine on December 22nd, 2019. And this is a, a K4D. So um, I know Group 1 is pretty much wrapping up. The K4Ds might still be shipping from Group 1. But um, I know Elecraft has started shipping uh, K4s from Group 2. Not the K4Ds as of today or this week. But anyway, this isn't going to be a big technical video. But I thought it would be fun maybe for some of those that are waiting. I'll uh, unbox this thing, weigh it, and we'll see what we got. So, well, first off... You know, I've got to get the weigh in. This should be around 20 pounds. I'll turn this on and then we'll see what this thing weighs and shipped. This might be interesting for the uh, overseas shipping, maybe. So it's just under 20 pounds, 19 pounds, and about 12 ounces. So now that we got that part out of the way, and we'll, we'll weigh the, the uh, K4 once we get it out of the box. So and then I've got another. Or rather, a, uh, I've got a, a K3 here, too, we can compare it to. This is a, a K3 that, um, whew, this is a K3 that I assembled back in 2012, so about nine years ago. So we'll just use that for comparison. I know there's a lot of other videos out there at this point, and um, there's some videos that compare the size and all that. I mean, it's pretty obvious, but this is kind of fun. We've been waiting for a long time, and this is... Uh, quite the fun tech toy here to start playing around with and it'll be fun to see how it evolves over the next number of years so well let's get the scale out of the way and get out a knife right here and let's uh let's open this thing up so we'll take well i'm gonna do this all in one take and um try not to drag it out too long and then after I play around with the radio and get used to the radio, um, I'll do some more tech stuff. If you've watched my channel before, um, I've done a fair amount of live operating, and that'll be the goal here with the K4. So, well, right out of the top, of the box here, we got the, you know, a packing slip of some sort, and um, some documentation from. And Elcraft, the manual, you know, kind of an introductory manual. Looks like. Thank you, note from uh, Wayne and Eric, of course. Um, there, I'm not going to spend a lot of time on this. Um, I know this right here is the introduction to the K4, and you can download this on the website. I'm kind of doing this on the fly here, but uh, you can download this in PDF form, and it goes through. You know, as you'd expect, kind of the initial setup and everything else. All right. What else do we got in the box here? Um, this is, um, I heard about this. So you've got the power cord. It's fused. Um, I've got a little switching power supply you can see here that um, I'll be using. You know, it's the PowerWorks switching power supply. So we won't use this for now. I'll just use my other power pour, power pole. Um, cord that you can see over there and then what we got here oh, they, they give you a, um, an allen wrench envelope and this be a little allen wrench in there for something and then a USB A to USB B um, cable for the PC right so you plug in and get the sound card and the two FTDI serial, serial ports so that's in the box let's see what else we got um, you know, we on this would be packed really well here. Let's get that. So it's double boxed here, you can see. Yeah. Let's see if I can get this out somewhat ungraceful looking. So we got the separators there for the double boxing. Get that out of the way. And here we have it. And I'll need the knife again. And uh, let me set this over here. Get the knife out again. And this is what we've been waiting for. 
I'm guessing my serial number will be in the 300 range. Just a wild guess. I guess I could have looked on the docks there. But we'll look on the back of the radio as soon as I get it out. All right. Um, looks very similar to a K3, K3S packaging, you know, the foam. Pull that top piece out. Toss it in the back here. And there it is. There's the old uh, K4. Let me set this back. And here we have it. All shiny and uh, packaged up. And this was uh, this sub assembly packed by Daisy. So I don't know if you'll see that on the video. <laughs> so we got Daisy that did that. Now I'm going to, I think I'll lower the camera down a little bit. And maybe get a little better view here. Going down towards the radio. And I hope that will uh, focus okay. So. This isn't too exciting. Well, it is exciting, but maybe not for you guys. Just to see this open up. I did poke around on YouTube, and I didn't see any, you know, the, the typical unboxing video. So maybe this will be a first. If there's one out there, I couldn't find it. So, okay, let's get the, the plastic out. Oh, there you go here. And... There it is, man. All right. Cool. So what I wanted to do pretty much is just power it on, and I wanted to time the uh, the power up. You know, I thought about maybe in a, a later video I'll, we'll open it up. I'll get a bunch of pictures. I've got a very popular photo gallery. We'll take a bunch of close-up pictures and high res and, and do some other videos, but... Here it is. Um, you know, it's got more of a modern look, of course. The uh, bezel and everything is um, injected mold. And But what I really like is they've maintained that lightweight, smaller size radio. So here, let's bring in the K3. And there you can see the difference in the size. So, I mean, a little bit. Pull this up. Well, that's probably good enough right there. Looks like there's going to be some glare, too. But anyway, that gives you the size difference. I know I'm not the first to do this. So, here we'll set the K3 out of the way here. Let's get the weight here on this one. Get on the, the weight on the K4. Now, this is the K4D, so I'll be getting the HD module when it's available. So, that may add, you know, wild guess, maybe another half pound, eight ounces or something like that. So it's got the handle on the side, like we expect. So I think I'll just weigh it like that and get this in here. Good enough, I think. All right. Get this turned on. Let's see what it weighs. How this weighs, I'm guessing around 10, 11 pounds. Nah, pretty close. Closer to uh, um, 12 pounds, and I think I might be able to get kilograms here. I don't know if I can change that on the fly. Yeah, so 5.365 kilograms. Um, if you can see that, I think you can see that on the video. So back to 11 pounds and 13 ounces right on the money. So not bad adding all the, the new display, 7-inch display and everything else. So there I turned uh, the BFOA knob there. They feel good. I'm assuming the uh, Allen wrenches might be for adjusting the the uh, encoder knobs. I don't know if they still have the felt pads on the back, so you can kind of adjust those. That's my guess. Um, here, let's take a look at the... Maybe get a little closer there. A lot of glare coming in here. The camera. But there's pictures out there, right? There's all kinds of pictures. Here's the back. And um, you can actually see the... All the different ports there. There's actually three serial ports, one external, you know, the, the actual physical serial port there. And then you have two uh, FTDI serial ports that are going to come off the PC interface. And a lot, a lot more information out there. Oh, the serial number. Well, I was right. Um, let's see here. 
I think we're still recording there. My screensaver came on on the computer. I was pretty darn close. Let me get that over. So I am the proud owner of 331, 331, if you can see it there. So anyway, lots of good info out there. I'm excited about the, uh, the transmitter sample in. That'll be the pure signal implementation that Lcraft does to reduce IMD products. And um, well, let's kind of wrap this up pretty quick here. Let me get it up on the uh, the feet here. And what I wanted to do, um, as everybody knows, this has a single board computer in it, so the and it's for running a full um, implementation of of Linux. And I wanted to see the boot time there. That that might help a little bit on the glare. We'll see how, how the screen goes. And there's still the screen protector. I'm going to leave that on for now. We'll see how bright it is when it boots up. And uh, I actually want to time that. So I'm going to take my little power pole cable here, plug it in the back. We're going to time the boot up. And so this is this is a one-take deal, right? No, uh, nothing rehearsed here. And power supply is on. And let's see, let's get the timer going off the off my iPhone here. And let's see here. Timer. Here we are. Stopwatch. Okay, let's go. If we're all ready, you can see that. And I'm going to try and hit the power and the start at the same time. Oops, start. There we go. It comes on. There we go, Illacraft. And I'll stop it here as soon as we get to. Should be around 25 seconds, I think. 20, 25 seconds. There we go. Yep, there's some uh, white noise. So, man, I'll, um, Bob Wilson, N6TV, he was right. I think he, I remember seeing a post where he said it was right around 24 seconds on the boot up. So, a little white noise coming in there, which is exciting. And, um, you know, you've got the touch screen menu, that kind of thing going on. I'm not gonna get into that, just wanted to show you the, the boot up time of the single board computer in there, the very first time. And I don't know if we're gonna get a good representation of the screen, but there it is. There you go. So now I'm excited to get down in the shack and kick the tire. So uh, I hope you like this little unboxing demo. And I might get motivated to do a few more videos now. We'll do some live operating. And I actually have some good mechanisms where I can take the HDMI out and window it on the computer. So we'll get some really clean um, images rather than just having an external monitor with a camera on it. Anyway, I'll stop rambling. Hope everybody's having a good weekend. It's October 8th, and I'm kind of a dreary day here. Uh, so, 73, thanks for watching. If you like this video, give me the thumbs up and hit subscribe. That makes a big difference on the search algorithm for YouTube. So, uh, look for another video in the next week or so with a lot more details, a little more uh, operating, a little more technical details, you know, looking on the inside, that kind of thing. All right. Bye, everyone.